السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ برکات وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ برکات جاوید بھائی کیا حال چلے ہیں ابڑیو الحمدللہ آپ سنائیں ٹھیک الحمدللہ انشاءاللہ اوکے لیٹس سی ہو از ہیر السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وعلیکم السلام عمران بھائی ہاؤ ار یو الحمدللہ الحمدللہ Ajbai, how are you? So it looks like people are coming. We'll just give a quick second to people to come up and take it from there. All right, inshallah, we'll start and uh, people can uh, still join. So let's start with our dua first. Are you guys able to hear me okay? The sound is okay? Yes. So, Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala rasul. Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa Your voice is slow. Voice is not good? It's better. Okay. نحمده و نسلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى إن هدى الله هو الهدى وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله الكريم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم رحمني بالقرآن العظيم وجعله لي إماما ونورا وهدى ورحمة وجعله لي هجة يا رب العالمين ربی یسر ولا تو اسر و تم بالخیر آمین سم آمین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ایوری ون سو الحمد للہ ونس اگین ود ایکسٹریم مرسی آف اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ وی آر گیدر ہیئر اینڈ وی ہیو الارا مٹیریل ٹو کور اینڈ آل آف دس سو فار از بین مینلی اے ریویو And if you have been uh, following along, then uh, you, you will enjoy and actually gather more information. So let's, let's switch gears here and look at what we were doing last time. And I'm going to start with uh, this screen. So what we have learned uh, in the previous sessions, and the focus is on the, the Haruf-e Jara. And Haruf-e Jara... When they combine with nouns, they make a compound, and that compound is known as murakkab jari Yeah. So we know that there are a bunch of letters. And uh, for example, you know these letters, they look like, some of them are like this. The letter ba, which means with ilah, the meaning is two up to two words. Then there is a letter lam, it's mean four. Then there is hatta. Hatta is also like until up to. Then there is wow. And wow is for the oath. So when you say wallahi, so you take an oath on Allah. 
And then there is the letter fi uh, in regarding min is from Allah is on. And ka is for like uh, when you want to give a similarity between two things, you want to say that this thing is like such such a such thing. And un. So what is uh, what is the special thing about them? That by themselves, they don't have a complete meaning. They have to join with the nouns or other uh, like a fail to give a complete meaning or give some other meaning. So what we have learned so far that our focus has been on Jumla Ismiya. And in Jumla Ismiya, we learned how many parts we have in Jumla Ismiya. We have three parts, the Mubtada, the Khabar, and then we introduce the Mutalli Khabar. So what is the role of this Murakkab Ejari in a nominal sentence? Because that is what our area of interest is. So in the nominal sentence, a Murakkab Ejari can become the Mutalik. Yes, is that what we have learned so far? Okay, so the 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 characteristic the characteristics of proof ajara is this that when when the noun with the noun which comes after it, they, it has to be in a special uh, uh, you know status, and that status is jar, right? Now when a when a noun goes into the status of jar is it has a name? It's called majroor. What is it known as? Majroor. Right. So if you want to be more detailed, you want to say this is ism majroor because noun is ism, right? And if we go into the status of jar, then we say it is ism majroor. So some of the examples we looked at was Zaidun fid dari. Now dari is another word for house, right? Fil baiti. We, we learned about fil baiti, remember? Yes. So Zaid is in the house. So is Zaid in the house a Jumla Ismiya? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we know that Zaid is the Muqtada and Fid Dari is the uh, Murakkab Jari. And then that will make it Khabar, right? Because the actual Khabar was Maujudun. Yes. The yes. Khabar is normally Maujudun, right? So the Khabar is not present here. But in that case, the mutalli khabar becomes the, the actual khabar and it's called the substitute khabar. So Zaidun is in the house. Now this one, katabtu bil kalami is not a jumla ismiya because katabtu is a fail. Yes? Yeah. yes. It's a jumla failiya. And jumla failiya also have a mutallik and that is also a murakkab jari. You see that? It's bil kalami. So the letter ba is the harfijar and al kalami is the, the noun which is coming after it and it is in the status of yes. jar. So far so good? Yeah. Okay. So this one, minal bayti ilal masjidi, from the house to the mosque. Yes? Yeah. So, so this one, there are two uh, harfijar here, min and then ila. ila yeah? So, minal bayti from the house and ila mas ilal masjidi to the mosque. But these are haruf e jara, as you can see, they are in this list. Yeah? yeah. And what they do, as usual, any noun which comes after it is going to force them or expect them to be in the status of jar. Okay, good. Jalasa zaidun ala alal kursiyi. Now, jalasa again is a verbal sentence. It's a verb. So, Zaid sat on the chair. And here again, our focus again is the alal kursi yi. It is also in the status of jar. So, al kursi yi is the ism majroor. Yeah. Right? Now, this letter lam, this one, this lam has two meanings. It is meaning for, and it also comes for belonging. Okay? Yeah. When we say, Lillahi mafi samawati wa mafil earth. We don't say that whatever is in the heaven and the earth is for Allah. That will be the wrong translation because it is not for Allah. We we'll say the heaven and the earth belongs to Allah. Making sense? Yeah. Did you see the difference? 
if I say uh, okay, the, the, the heaven and the earth is for us, it makes sense. But we, it doesn't belong to us. We, we are not the owner of the Samawat in the earth. But when we use the word Lam in that sense, in the, in the sense of ownership, then we, the translation Lillahi will be that this, the dominion of the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. Okay. So over here, we are saying As-Sayyaratu Li Zaydin. So over here, we, we are we're not saying that the, the car is for Zaid. We are saying the car belongs to Zaid. Is that making sense? That this little, uh, you know, thing is different. As-Sayyaratu Li Zaydin. But the Zaydin is in Jar. See, yeah. it's, it's yes. Zaydin is Ismul Jar. Very good. Now the word Ka, we looked at this word Ka. And this was Ahmadu Kal Asadin. Ahmad is like a lion. So this is for use when you want to give an example or when you want to compare something with something, then you use the word ka. Okay. Nimtu hatta subh. I slept until the morning. Okay. So here hatta is harfijar. Because of that, the noun subhi becomes jar. Yeah. Saaltu anil kitab. That's a verbal sentence. So she's, she's, she asked about the book. So anil, this an is a harfijar, and because of that, it changes into this kitab. Yes. The jar, right? So kitab is in the status of jar. So al kitab will be known as ism majru. Ism majru. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And wallahi, as we said, the letter wow is for oath. So when we say, Wallahi, that means we are saying by Allah. We are taking an oath on Allah. And this Allahi again here is because of the letter wow, it went into the status of jar. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let me try to... Let's see if I can share something with you guys. Just give me a quick second. Okay. Uh, can you guys see my screen now? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. So let's see. All right. So this is what we looked at, right? Yes. So the next one we want to look at is the following. Do you remember these? Yes. Ones? So, so these are known as pronouns. What are they known as? Pronouns. Pronouns. And how many kinds of pronouns we know? Two. We know two kinds of pronouns. We have the detached pronouns and we have the attached pronouns. Attached pronouns. Yes? Yes. Okay. So let me show you one more example here. Okay. So the, the attached pronouns, they are known as mutasil. What are they known as? Mutasil. Mutasil. And they are of two statuses. They are either mansu or majroor. Well, yeah. You know what that means? That they have two kinds of statuses. They are either in the status of nasab or they are in the status of jar. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Agree? Yeah. Now, the detached ones are in the status of rafa. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, let me ask you a question. Um, if there is a harfe jar, yes? Yeah. yeah. 
and or let's write over here arpeggio does it come with the noun yeah okay and what is the status of this noun jar majroor majroor okay so can the huruf e jara come with the pronoun yes yes, yes. because pronoun is a noun right yeah okay now the noun is supposed to be in what is status jar yeah jar. so if we have to use huruf e jara with the pronoun which table we need to use do we need to use detached pronouns okay yeah. no no do we need to attach uh, do we need to use the detached pronoun or the attached pronouns attached pronoun attached. attached pronouns everybody clear on that that why we need attached pronouns because huruf e jara is going to require a ism or a pronoun in the status of jar so the attached pronouns have the status of nasab and jar but the good news is they are both identical you see that ho huma hum ho huma hum a huma hunna a huma hunna ya ka kuma kum ka kuma kum ki kuma kunna ki kuma kunna uh, this one is was uh, yeah uh, okay e and na right you see that yeah so if i take one of the nouns or one of the huruf huruf e jara like for example we take lam yes and it is lam with the fath right yeah okay so when we say lam and we do allah with it it becomes lillah 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 yes agree and the allah yeah. went into huruf e jar or i mean uh, status of jar now if i want to take the same lam and want to add with the hu it will become lahu 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 you see that so basically yeah. the huruf e jara will connect with this table agree yes yeah yes so now i can show you this if i take the letter lam it will become Lahum. 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 Yes. Laha. Lahum. 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 You see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is adding the harfe jar, harfe jara to my pronoun. Now in the Quran, with this little concept you're understanding right now, you will see that this is used extensively. Yes. everywhere right so laka okay lakuma lakum okay laki lakuma lakunna bi lana okay so what was the meaning of four lam is four right yeah one of the meaning of lam was four and the word mean who is him yes for him so it will become for him for yeah. both of them and this is the male version this is the female version right and this is the third person right okay so lahu for him lahu for both of them lahum for for all of them men yes yeah. okay laha for her yeah yeah lahuma for Both, both of them, of them both female lahunna for all of them female female laka for you lakuma for both of you lakum for all mm. of you men mm. laki for you female lakuma mm. for both of you female mm. lakunna for all of you female mm. li for me mm. lana for mm. us okay so i i hope with this little uh, demonstration here you can see that why we focus so much on the dhamaya because the dhamaya if you learn dhamaya and the arab you will learn to analyze the quranic verses almost like 90% okay and this is why it's really important to understand why we learn huruf e jara 
what is the relationship with the noun and what is the deal with the harf jar right <laughs> and that's why why do we have to make these tables to understand that okay if i'm using a huruf jara then where is it going to go follow yes so now if i go back to this screen <clears throat> so what i was showing you that the meaning of who <clears throat> has two meanings it has a meaning of his and him and this is the third person and we have the gender the masculine and the feminine we have seen this in many slides in many different ways yeah. and the reason i try to bring it in different format so that at least if something sticks is better than like only one one reference you have many references so who his uh his their their or them them both of them now the translation from nasab to jar will change from his to him yeah. when it is him it is the the jar status follow remember we said these attached pronouns have nasab and jar status so mm -hmm. if you take the nasab status the translation will be his if you take the jar status the translation will be him mm -hmm. so when we said lahu um <clears throat> what was the translation we did for him for, for him. him we did not say for his yes yeah. allahuma for the yeah, both okay. of them yeah. for both of them because we we talking about dual right so we said yeah. both lahum will be for, for all him. of them making sense yeah okay so before i go into this let's try one more thing uh, over here we need to understand what these um um let's see if i get out of here i want to show you this page so these pronouns can come after nouns they can come after verbs and particles as shown in the example ex example below so remember if they come after the noun it becomes kalama kalamu hu that means his pen you see when it yeah. came after the The, the the word kalam it means his pen can we say him pen no right kitabu ka your book your book kitabu ka your book and kitabi my book my book kitabu ha har book har book you see th this is when they combine with the regular noun that it gives them this his book your book my book and we have done this all in the previous session when they come after the verb <clears throat> nasar tuhu i helped him amar tuka i commanded you. commanded you since we are not dealing with the verb right now i don't want to too much focus but look at the the particle <clears throat> particle mean the preposition fi he lahu minka ilaina innakum alaihi you see that what happened here yeah do we do we have the huruf e jara fi yes yes right now does the fi has the ya in there yes okay so if you look at this there is a hu and you need to combine with fi so you will take fi like this so it will become fi he he so this hu because of this ya yeah, will change into he follow yeah okay let's see if i can uh, show you the other way the way i was showing you earlier okay so let's take a look at this one again um let's go back here for a second and then i would have to just uh, let me just allow me to delete this a little bit so that i can show you okay all right so the next word we have is um fi agree can you see see the fi fi yeah <clears throat> okay and i said that fi because there is a ya it will become like this yeah because yeah. now i'm going to combine with the because if i combine with the who here <laughs> it doesn't look nice does it look nice 
No. So I have to flatten it a little bit. And that's why you see the fi and the ya. So yeah. if you take it here, you're going to say fi who. And then it says fi who. Fee who. Does it sound good? No. 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 Because of the ya, this dhamma will become fi he. Fi he. So fi hima, not huma. Okay. Fi him. Him. Fee. Got it? Yeah. Fi ha. Ah, this is good. And fi hima. Hima. And fi hina. Hina. Okay, so if you if you get this, and we have done this a long time ago, so any huruvajara you have, you take this table and try to make the table. So fi he, fi ha, or fi yeah, huma, fi him, fi ha, fi hima, fi hinna, fi ka, which is good, yeah, fi huma, good, fi kum, fi kum, now. Fi is meaning in. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so like fee, yeah. Brother Abel, uh, a little question here. Yeah. Um, how and when do we know that we have to go to, uh, for example, uh, fi, mm -hmm. um, rahu or fi, he? You know, like where we go, jar and okay. where we go. Okay. So Nothing. remember, if I, when I mentioned that fi, you saw the the ya here, right? Yeah. This ya is telling you that you have to use the fi he and not the fi who. Yes? Because fi who doesn't sound good at all. Making sense? Um, okay, what about what about li? Okay, let's talk about li. Uh, another one. Uh, let me delete some and then I'll help you with this. Okay. La who is fine. No, I'm talking about Li. Okay. Oh, Li. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ila. Um, let me delete some of this so that I can make some room for you. By the way, are you okay with this demonstration or should I use a piece of paper? No, no, no it's okay. Okay. So another one is uh, Ila. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, is the ila also have the ya in there? Yes. Yeah. So if I want to use with the who, it's going to become ilai. Agree? Yeah. Then if I add the who here, it will ilai. become ilai who, which is not correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So because as soon as I saw the ya, I know that I have to delete this and I'd say ilai he. Okay, so it's uh, basically it's when you see ya. Yeah. Yes, but there are like some. Lilla, yes, not, for example, we did not. Yeah, there was no. No. Lilla, he, because see, then the thing is, the lam has two. There is a fatha, that this is harufe jara, and then there is also a li. Okay, so la, who? I haven't seen li who. So I, I've seen the la who one. Okay. Yeah. Now with the letter ba, there is a b. Remember? Yeah. So some of the haruf -e jara they will force the fatha, the dhamma into kasra. Okay. But that doesn't mean that's because of the sound. So b who doesn't sound good. It's going to become b e. Yes. Correct. So some of e. them make it uh, uh, yes. jara in in uh, jar status. And no, some no, of them. No, 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 no. Don't confuse that. These are already in jar status. Okay. The attached pronouns, they are of two statuses, nasab and jar. But in both statuses, they are identical. Like, see, there is there is no difference. The only difference is the color, just to show that this is nasab and this is. And this is what I've been struggling from day one with you guys. That you need to try to start understanding these. That I, when I th talk about attached pronouns, two things come to your mind. That attached pronouns, first of all, they are attached to something. Yes? So they are attached to other nouns, or they're attached to a verb, yeah. or they're attached to a harfajar. 
Okay, this is the top big rule. What is the big rule? As soon as you heard the word attached, you know that this thing I'm talking about is going to get attached to something. Is that agree agreeable? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So one one thing out of the way. Attached pronouns. Obviously, they are going to get attached to something. Then the question is, where do they get attached? Okay, they get attached to other nouns. Okay, and they get attached to perfecter, and they get also attached to file or the fill. Now, where do they get attached? In the beginning or at the end? The end. At the end. Yes. So when you are attaching it with the perfecter, what is the condition of a perfecter? That it it says that anything which will come after me will has to go into what a status? Yeah, majru. Sure. So does nouns have a status or the verb has a status? Verb has nouns. Noun because noun has four four properties. We have learned the four properties of the noun: the gender, the number, the status, and the state or the type. Whether it is a common noun or it's a proper noun. Now, attached pronoun is a common noun or a proper noun? Proper noun. Proper noun. Proper noun. A, see, the, see, that's the thing. A zamaer are proper nouns. <clears throat> they yes. were under the category of type, and that there are five kind of categories we learned. And if please, if you're not going to do the review, if you're not going to, uh, you know, pay attention to what you have done, it, this will skip you all the time. Okay, this should be like a back of my hand by now. Any time I talk about zamaer, they are proper. They cannot be common. Because a zamaer mean a proper noun, a pronoun. <clears throat> Even the name says pronoun, so it is a proper noun. Making sense? Correct. Yeah. 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 So again, look at this screen again. That what is the purpose of these attached pronouns? They can come with other nouns. They can come with verbs. It says after a noun because they get attached at the end and after a particle. So if I say fee, and they're giving you one example, fee, he, lahu, min ka, is min a harfejar? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So from the the attached pronouns, how many attached pronouns in there? Fourteen. Yeah. Hu, huma, hum, ha, huma, hunna. Third person, six of them, three for male, three for female. Yes. Yeah. So min hu. Min ha, min huma, min hum for the male. Min ha, min huma, min hunna female third person. Min ka, min kuma, min kum. Min kum. Third per, uh, second person male. Min ki, min kuma, min kunna. Min kunna. Third, you know, second person female. Yeah. Now remaining me and us. Min ni, min na. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. So let's take a break from the 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 iPad. Let me show you some more stuff so that you guys uh, understand what I'm trying to do here. Okay. So let's go to this screen here. By the way. Is everybody on the same page now, or we still like have confusion about this? No, no, we are at the same page. Uh, Brother Jal, Jazakallah khair. But I need I to hear from yes, other people. Yes, yeah, I know. Okay, good. So I see Sister Amiru Nisa. Uh, you've been very quiet since day one. So are you good with this information? Are you good? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Brother Javed, you're good. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. Brother Zakir? Yeah, I'm good as well. So we know what, for now on, moving forward, I should not be worried about the fact that, okay, what is a preposition? And what is the role of a preposition? And what happens to the nouns which comes after that? So moving forward, I don't want to worry about that. And I want to move on to the next level, right? So after that, let's see. We looked at these ayahs last time that these are the examples from the Quran. And you will see when we read Quran later in the day, you will see the, them all over the place. Okay. Then I want to show you the purpose of this jar majur in the nominal sentence. So if the, if the sentence is, 
Muhammad is in the mosque. Yes, that's the English sentence. Is this a nominal sentence? Yes. Yes. Right. Because it's starting with Muhammad. Muhammad. And Muhammad is a noun. Yes? yes. Now, is Muhammad a proper noun? Yeah. A proper yes. noun means it's a marifa. Yes. 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 And is it Rafa? Yes. Muhammadun? Yes. yes. Okay. So that becomes my Muptada. Muptada. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then is the fee, is there harfijar? Harfijar, yeah. yes. Sure. And is al masjidi is ism majroor? Yeah. Yes. So that is why it is known as jar majroor, which is murakkab e jari. Now, we could have said Muhammad is present in the mosque. In the English word, we could, could we have said Muhammad is present in the mosque? Yeah. yeah. And the Arabic of present will be Mawjudun. Mawjudun. Yes. Muhammadun. But Mawjudun we said, masjid. yeah, the Muhammadun, Mawjudun fil masjidi. But we have learned in the past that sometimes the news can be omitted and the mutalik, which is also known as mutalik khabar, can be used as the khabar. So over here, can we say fil masjidi is our khabar? Yeah. Yes. Good. So now you see a very simple implementation or application of the, the concept we have learned. Anytime a harfajar will come, there you accept, you expect a noun coming after it, and that noun will always be in the status of jar. And when these two, two little words combine, they become a compound. And the name for compound in Arabic is murakkab. murakkab. And, and since it is involving a harfajara, the name of the murakkab will become murakkab jari. You see, very simply, if you want to put in your mind, what is murakkab jari? That has to do something with the harf ejari. Compound could be, yeah, it could be a combination and mostly the combination of two words. And then these two words form a pair. So when we say murakkab jari, we have a harf ejari, we have ism majroor. When we say murakkab ishari, we have ishara, we have musharun alay. Agree? Okay. So let's see on the next one. Uh, it is on a table. Hua alal maktabin. Or this should be, uh, this is good. Alal ala maktabin. Now, hua, in the English language, we have he, she, it. He. Yes. In Arabic language, we don't have anything for it. Okay. So, hua is used for non living things. And then the translation will be it. So, if I want to say hua, I'm not going to say he is on the table. It is, it is on the table. Yes. Yeah. Now, I know it, it, it is it because the sentence is saying that. If yeah. the sentence was up to me to translate, I could have also said he is on the table. Yes. Yeah. Or he is on a table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, they're both translations are fine, but you have to understand the, con uh, the, the context. So, is hua uh, a detached pronoun? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, brother, for Abzal, detached pronouns are what kind? Are they common or proper? Proper. Proper. So, what is the, what is the, uh, one of the rules for Muptada? That Muptada has to be? Proper. No. Proper. No. And is Hua Rafa or Jar or Nasab? Nasab. Huh? Nasab. Hua. Hua is Nasab? Okay, that's again, you have to go back to the notes. And I earlier in the in the lecture when I started, I said that detached pronouns are of Rafa status. Rafa status. Oh, sure. yes. No, you are correct. I kind of mixed it with attached. Yes, but we need to get rid of this mixing up any, uh, anymore because we need to get this 100% in our brain that what is going on. As soon as I say detached pronoun, Rafa. Anytime I say attached pronouns, your mind should go to Nasab and Jar. And then that will decide which one you're going to pick. If if I say attached pronouns are nasab and jar, and you need to use it with a harf jara, which status are you going to pick? Yeah. Majroor. Why? Jar majroor, you know. Jar majroor. Okay. So because harf jara requires the, the noun coming after it to be in the status of jar. Okay, and when a noun become majroor, we call it ism majroor, right? Okay, good. 
Yes, and that combination is known as murakab jari. So over here, I'm giving you again the 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 chart. Which chart are you looking at? Detached pronoun. Detached pronoun. Detached. Now, why am I showing it to you so that you can clear the con the confusion from the attached and the detached? Okay. So hua huma hum are the detached version. What was the um, Let's let's just read this one more time so that we are all on the same page. Huwa huma hum, iya huma huna. Let me read it. You guys listen. Anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Yeah. So that means he, it, they, they two, then they all. She, it, they two, female or they all, female. You, male. You two, and you all. You female, you two female, and you all female. Yeah? Mm. Right? Ana is I, and Nahnu is we. So you can see these are detached. They do not connect with anything. They come by itself. Yes? Mm. So over here, in the previous sentence, is the Hua attached to anything? No. 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 That is why this is a detached pronoun. And it is a good candidate for our Muktada. Yeah. Because it's proper. Yeah? Okay, let's take a look at another one. Okay, um, so they are never attached with any other word. Is that clear? Correct. Now, how many people can you know testi testify that this is not the first time you see this chart? Many times. Yes. This yes. chart yes. must have been circulated more than 20 times already. Yes, okay. absolutely. Now we can so, remember this by heart. Yeah, and I'm not sure where you store it in your computer. But you should have it under a folder saying that, okay, if I need to learn or review my Zamaya, this is what I'm going with. It's on the website. It's in the WhatsApp group. It's everywhere. But you don't know where it is. Then that is where my complaint comes to you. Please help me help you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So these are definite. And why are they definite? Because we know that they are proper nouns. Okay. So I'm not going to focus too much on them because our purpose of understanding was the, the other now. So let me quickly get to uh, where I want to get. Okay. Come on. Okay. And this whole document is with you, uh, but you, but right now that's not our focus. And um, my mouse is like really, really slow. I don't know why. Yeah. I think I can go like this. Did I miss what I was looking for? Okay, this one I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, where did it go? Okay, so in this one, <clears throat> you can see that attached pronouns. Yes? yes? Isn't that what we're talking about? Yeah. So look what happens. We use the word, the harfijar, min. And then we attach it with who. So min, who. Harfe jarrun, ismun, majroorun. Isn't that what we earlier saw when I was yeah. doing the demonstration? Okay. Yes. Min, Muhammadin. Min, Muhammadin. What's the difference? After the harufe jara, there is a regular noun. Yes? Ismun. Yes? And, and is Muhammadin in the status of jar? Yeah. Okay. But when you, you attach with... Yes, when you attach with an attached pronoun, then you use the attached pronoun of the, the jar status. So, min who for from him, min whom from them all. Yes, are they attached pronouns who and whom? Yeah. yeah. Okay, can you make the rest of the, the combination? Yes, you can, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now let's take a look at this. So, detached pronouns is hua and it is rafa status 
and the attached pronoun is who. See, there is a difference between whoa and who. The wow is missing. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Huma and huma is the same. Hum and whom is the same. In the detached, it is here. In the attached, it ha. is ha only. Yes. Huma, huma, same. Hunna, hunna, same. Anta, that when he goes into the attached pronoun, it only becomes ka. ka. Anta becomes ka. Antuma beca becomes kuma. Antum becomes kum. Anti, ki. Antuma, kuma. Antunna, kunna. Ana becomes ye and nahnu become na. Agree? So far, so good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, look at this one. The Zamir Munfasil, which is the detached pronoun, the name for detached pronouns in Arabic is Zamirun Munfasilun. They're always marifa. Okay? They're always marifa means they're always proper. And they're always Mark. rafa. Yes? Yeah. They're always marfu means they're always in the status of rafa. Yeah. So next time if I ask you detached pronoun status, are you going to blink? Think no. Marifa. Without the blink of an eye, you're gonna say Rafa Marifa. Can we get that out of the way today? Yeah, sure. Okay. The attached pronouns are also Marifa, they are proper. There is no doubt about that. Do we have any doubt about that? That the attached pronouns are common? Yeah. They're not common, they are always. Well, they are always, uh, because uh, a pronoun comes out of a noun. And that means when you say Abid is talking, he is explaining something. So the next time you use the word he, you did not say Abid again. So the he is also is the replacement of Abid. Was Abid a proper noun? Yeah. So he is a proper noun? Yeah. Because you're still talking about a specific person? Okay. Yeah. And they are always going to be in the status of nasab or jar. Yes. yes. So based on your need, when you use it, you will say it is jar when you are using it with a harfe yeah. jara. When you use with the other noun, you will you think about it in a different way. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. So over here, let's say if I take the word kitab. Yeah. Kitab is a noun. Yes? Yeah. yes. I want to say his book. So I'm going to say Kitabu Hu. Ah. Yes? Kitabu Hu. Ah. Say that again. Kitabu Hu. Kitabu Hu. That is his book. His book. Yes? Kitabu Huma. Their book. How yes. many male? Two. Two male. Kitabu Hum. Their book. Their book, yeah, more than two male. Yes? All of them. Is kitab masculine? Yes. 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 Yeah. But look at the word siyaratun. Is siyaratun male or female? Female. Female. buta. Look what happened to that. Sayyaratu hu. Sayyaratu huma. Sayyaratu hum. Sayyaratu ha. Okay, now making these little slight changes, do you see the meaning changes? Yes? Yeah. Now if I say Rasuluka, what does that mean? <coughs> Rasuluka. Your Rasul. If in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying Rasuluka, that means he's saying your Rasul. If, if he says Rasuluki, is he talking to male or female? Female. Yes. If I say Rasulukum. All of them. Rasul of all of you. Okay, now there is a difference between Rasulukum and Rasuluhum. There is a difference or not? Yeah. There is. Yes. Because now you're saying Rasuluhum, third person. Yeah. Rasulukum, second person. Rasuli, my Rasul. First yeah. person. Rasuluna, our, our Rasul. Our Rasul. You see how things are changing and that, that is how the Quran is full of them when you're reading them. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me quickly give you 
an example uh, here. Look at this. Khalak na kum. Is this kum a harfejar or is it a pronoun? No, no. Okay. So we know that khalaka is a verb, right? Yeah. But is after the verb, do we see a kum? Is it an attached pronoun? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that the right away. Is it you all or you two or you one? You all. You all. Is it talking to masculine? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was khalak na kunna. That would have been. Kunna would have been feminine. Now, walakad khalak na kum. Summa sawar na kum. You see that? Yeah. So I'm just trying to demonstrate that how many times you're going to bump into these. It pretty much in one ayah, one verse, many times. Is kul na? Is the na here attached pronoun? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What is this lil mala ikati? Is this jar majru? Yeah. 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 There is no pro attached pronoun here. But see, now I'm trying to give you, I'm just testing you that you should be able to recognize this lame jara and malaika ti. Is it in the status of jar? Yes. Yeah. Jar majru. Jari. Okay. So this is jar majru. Minas sajidin is min a harf a jar? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is sajidin status of jar? Yeah. Yes. yes. Look, sajidun, right? Sajidun is singular. Yeah. Sajiduna. Sajiduna will be rafa. Yeah. Sajidina nasab. Sajidina jar. Yeah. Muslimuna rafa. Muslimina nasab. Muslimina jar. As soon as I see harf jar, I'm going to say muslimina, but now in my mind, I'm using the, the jar one. Agree? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Li adama. You see this word li here? This is a another harf jar here. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah, but adama, now you will say, why is adama not in the status of jar? It is in the status of jar, but it is out of the scope of the, the concept, uh, discussion right now, so I don't want to uh, you know, take you anywhere else. Okay, so let's take a look at some more ayahs here. Just anywhere from the Quran, it doesn't have to be any specific ayah. Um, what is this? Ilaikum? Is ilai a harfajar? Yeah. Yeah. Is kum a attached pronoun? Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be? This is murakkab ejari. Yeah. Yes. It's actually yeah. we have another name for it, but for now, let's say it's murakkab ejari. Uh, ilai and this kum is attached pronoun. Is it jar or nasab? Jar. Yes. Jar. As soon as you see harfe jar, you yeah. have no more doubt in it should be in your brain that this is nasab. This has to be jar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now mir rabbi kum is this mir because of the tajweed I'm saying mir, but it is min. Yeah. Right. So the min is a harfe jar. Yeah. Yes. And the min is from? Yes? Okay. Now, this is a good place for me to give you another little tidbit here so that you guys can appreciate it even further. Okay. So, let's go to... Uh, Brother Abad. Yes, sir. So, this is uh, min after min. There is a noun and there is a pronoun. Both are... Yes. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm going to explain to you now. Uh, let me stop sharing and then share again. Trying to understand what happened. Okay. Okay, is it uh, showing my screen now? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can see your screen. Good, good. good. Let's see. So, I, why can't I see it? You guys can see it? Yes, we can see that. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> okay, it is connected. Let's see. Yeah, for some reason, I can't see it. But if you guys can see it, I'm fine with it. Okay. So let's try a new note. Um, and my pencil. Okay. 
So we said, we said that um, there is a herfeja. What happened? Okay. Title notes edit. I don't know what that means. Okay. Can you see the the the, the thing now? Let's say min. Yes. yes? Yeah. So min is a harfeja. Agree? Yes. yes. So we know that after that is supposed to have ism majroor. Agree? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now earlier we said we have attached pronouns. And attached pronouns are something like this. Who, uma, whom. Yes. And we have also ka, kuma, kum. Yes. Yeah. Now, these attached pronouns, they can come after a noun. Is the word rub? Is that a noun? Yeah. Yes. Right? Rub. That means Allah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And if I say kum, is it rub of all of you? Mm. Yes. yes. So your rub. All. Agree? Yeah. Right. So is this, this is the, the attached pronoun, right? So can I say also rub of all of you? Yes. Okay. Now, remember we said earlier, we are learning murakkabat and one of the murakkabat we are learning is murakkab izafi izafi and izafi is the uh, possessed relationship possessed and the process the possessor right yes now here who is the rub of you all, right? Yeah. So the moment in English I see the word of, can I say this is Murakkab? Zafi. Zafi? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so far we have been saying, uh, you know, like Minal, or Min, Minal, Masjidi. Okay. So is Min is a one word, like a one harf? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Masjid is one, one word? Yeah. Okay. So you are okay with this because you, you're dealing with one word, one word. So it doesn't throw you off. But as soon as you see Rabbikum or Rabbukum, you don't understand this as the Majroor because you're not no longer seeing an ism here. This ism is replaced with Murakkab Izafi. Yeah. You follow now, Brother Javed? Okay, so what that means when I say min and then instead of using a single noun, I said rabbu kum. Okay, so you will say this is harfejar. Then you will break this one. You will say this is mudaf ilay sure. And then this together become majroor. So do I still have two parts? One, two? Yeah. So this whole thing Murakkab yeah. Got it, Brother Javed? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Is that good? So this, this is very, very important concept which I wanted to point out today. That you need to know mudah mudahun ilay and we already know it but it's a, a detailed lecture is also coming but anytime you see a noun with a attached pronoun did we look at some nouns with the attached pronouns today yes yeah. so when they come with the huruf jara then they we use the the attached pronouns of the jar status but when they come with another noun they make another murakkab they murakkab is afi okay how for example, 
किताब किताब वट इज द मीनिंग यस किताब हाँ हर बुक यस कैन यू से बुक ऑफ हर कैन वी से दैट नो इट्स नॉट करेक्ट इंग्लिश या आई नो बट इज इज इन द सेम मीनिंग दो बुक ऑफ आबिद so trying to understand that any time you see the word of or this apostrophe that will come with a combination of a noun and a attached pronoun right or in a noun and another noun but when it come with another pronoun which is the attached pronoun like rabbukum then it becomes mudaf mudafun alay this is murakkabe izafi yeah okay so let's see if i can show you something else um and then we will take a break yes okay so what's going on why is it not showing okay it is it is there is there i think it was just um it was probably i have to do this okay can you guys see it now yes okay so anywhere from the quran let's take a look uh where did he go what happened okay. what is this ilaihim ilaihim this is the attached pronoun with the harf jara yes murakkab yeah. okay, jari this is ilaihim to them and yeah. alaihim to them there is a difference this is the towards okay this is to and look at this um mawazinu hu what is this who here his his scales mawazinu is the scales yes mm. yes okay over here anfusahum what is anfusahum okay. them self okay the nafs of them right or uh, okay bi ayatina what is this na ah uh, okay so over here it is used with a word verb over here it's used with the Isham. with the noun anfus anfus is a jama of nafs yes yeah. okay so over here anfusahum is mudaf mudaf ilay over here ilayhim is murakkab jari harf yeah. jar and yeah. ism majroor ism majroor making sense yeah Min, uh, no, this is Makkah Nakum. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we have read. Okay, let's see. Go to the next one. Um, hey, look at this one. What's going on? Okay, Mana Aka. What is this Ka here? You, you, you prevented you. Is Mana a a verb? Yes. 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 The ka here is the you. attached pronoun. Attached. Yes. Uh, is amar tuka, amar tuka. Is ta this ka and this ka is the same? Yes. Amar tuka mean I commanded who you. you. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is having a dialogue with Shaitan. He's saying, "Kala, kala who?" He said, "Allah said, ma mana aka." What prevented you? Allah tas juda that you. that not you prostrate um prostrate is amartuka when i commanded you so what happened to you what stopped you from making the sajda when i ordered you what he what he said in the in the res- result he says qala this time this qala this over here the qala was allah and here now who's giving the answer after the question shaitan qala shaitan said ana i Is it yeah. an attached or detached pronoun? 
Detached. 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 So this why is not connected with anything. Yeah. It's by itself. Ana, khairun. I am better. Khairun. Min who is min a harfijar? Harfijar. Yes. And who is him? Right. Yeah. He said, I am better than him. I am better than min whom? Right. Alaktani. You created me. This ni over here is it an attached pronoun? Yes. Min nariu wa khalak tahu, and you created him the who, min teen. You see, in one little verse, how many attached pronouns you come across? Mana ka and am amarto ka, they are yes. in the sub uh, status, right? Yes, that's right. But uh, right now, I'm not asking that because then it will divert from the subject. Prob the, the point is, over here, we see the attached pronoun with a verb. We see an attached pronoun with the harfijar. We see an attached pronoun with other nouns. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, this is the overall picture of attached pronoun. And you cannot separate them. Uh, and you cannot forget about them. You need to keep them in the back of your mind and is as clear as possible, inshallah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So I hope these, uh, these examples have highlighted their usage. Yes. And we have done this many times before, but now we have done it again. So inshallah, okay. let's uh, take a break. Uh, since we are a little bit behind, let's take a 10-minute break. And uh, let's continue it at 11.17, inshallah. Brother Abit, just one question before we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I understand the definition, but uh, if we come when we come back, I want to know the difference of mirab mirabbi versus yeah. mirabbika. So. Oh, rabbi is my oh. rab. Yeah, yeah. Rabbika, yeah. your rab. Yeah, I mean the way you um, described one is jar majur um, half a jar, and it shows one uh, attached detach uh, pronoun um, pronoun the other one you uh, described as uh, izafi or something i just want to know that oh one. izafi okay 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 sure, we sure. Come back? Okay. yeah yes okay inshallah okay Jazakallah. inshallah see you in 10 minutes jazakallah khair
السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام السلام علیکم السلام ورحمۃ Okay, so how are we feeling about this uh, understanding? Are we getting the... Alhamdulillah. Uh, Javed? Very excited. Alhamdulillah. Very good. Okay. And uh, Brother Imran, are you back? Okay. Brother Zakir? Okay. Salam so, So, Sister Homa, I have this screen open for you. You see that it says Kitabuhu, and the meaning is his book, right? So, when you have a noun and you have an attached pronoun with it, it makes a mudaf and mudaf and a combination, right? So, Kitabuhu is his book. Kitabuka, your book. Kitabi, my book. Making sense? Yes. Sister Homa? So you're muted. Yes. Yes. So Rabbi will be Madaf Madafilai. Yes. My Rab. Yes. My Rab Kitabi. My, my Rab. So, or Rabbi. My Rab. Okay. So anytime if, when there is a noun and then there is an attached pronoun with it, it is going to make a Murakab Ezafi. Yeah. But if, if it's half a jar before, if like, like uh, Mirr. Uh, uh, Yeah, then remember when Brother Javed asked me, I said from the Harfe Jar, it could have a singular ism or it could have another Murakka. Mm -hmm. There will be a combination of uh, the Harfe Jar and then Murakka be Izafi and then we'll still make Jar Majru. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Ila Rabbikum. Towards your Lord. Yes. So it is Murakka be Jari. But in, in the, within the Murakkab Ejari, it has his ism majroor as a Murakkab Ejafi. Okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. So if everyone is back, I want to do a quick review of a high level, uh, this concept, what we are trying to accomplish. What we are trying to accomplish, we are trying to accomplish the Murakkabat. Yes? And we have Murakkab Enakisa, which are the incomplete phrases. And uh, we have the Murakkab Tam. which is the sentence, yes? So in the Murakkab e Naqisa, we have Murakkab e Jari, and that's what we are focusing on right now. So it is Jar plus Majroor. When we say Majroor, it's Ism Majroor, yes? Example is Fil Bayti Min Al Masjidi. Murakkab e Shari, Ism Un Ishara, Musharun Alay. An Hazal Kalamu, Tilkal Bintu. Okay? مرکب توصیفی موصوف این صفا ولدن سالحن میننگ اب رائچس بوائے اور الولد سالحو دا رائچس بوائے این دین وی ہے مرکب اضافی مداف پلس مداف ان علیہ رسول اللہ کتاب اللہ اللہ از رسول اللہ از بک ناو دس از ناتنگ نیو وی ڈیڈ دس بفور رمضان اوکے سو اگین ٹرائنگ ٹو برنگ اٹ بیک ان ٹو یور میموری And um, so these are the four. And then we know that uh, how do we use these murakkabat in a sentence? In a sentence, we have muqtada and khabar. And we also have mutalik khabar. But before Ramadan, we did not talk about the mutalik khabar. So you don't see it here. So murakkab e jari can never be muqtada. We know that, right? But it can be a khabar. <laughs> murakkab e ishari can be a muqtada. but not sure about the khabar. So we didn't talk too much about that. Murakkab e tosifi can be both muqtada and can be both khabar. Yeah. In sense? Yeah. Okay. Murakkab e zafi, same. It can be muqtada or it can be khabar. So this is the high level chart in our brain that, okay, why am I learning Murakkab e jari? Why do I have to bother? Because in the Quran, there are sentences And in these sentences is a combination of a lot of things. 
Sometimes it could be murakab jari, it could be murakab shari, murakab tosifi, murakab zafi. But what is the role of those murakabas? Sometimes they will become khabar, sometimes they will become muqtada, sometimes they become the uh, mutalik khabar. Right? Yeah. Okay. So murakab shari, we briefly touched upon it before. And we said it has an ismul ishara and it has musharun alay. It has a pointer and things you're pointing to. So the things you're pointing to is called musharun alay. Ilay mean towards. Is ilay, isn't it harfajar? Yeah. Ilay mean to point to something. So hazal kalamu, the, the translation will be this pen. This is a pointer and this is it pointing to. Yeah. Okay. And the wusat of these, they're both marifa because they are. Haza is always marifa. Yes? yes. And I don't want to go into a lot of detail here because this is something we have done many times. Okay. Hala, Haza is rafa and al kalam is rafa. Yes. And jins, they're both male, mudakkar, and they're both singular. Yeah. Agree? Yeah. So whenever you're going to deal with the murakkab ishari, you know that it's a combination of two things. And they're two nouns. It's basically the combination of two nouns. So isn't the nouns have four properties, the wasat, the hala, the hala, the jins, and the other. So you cannot separate them. You have to think about all of them together. So these murakkabat, they have to follow certain rules. In, in this one, if haza is marifa, the next one is marifa. If haza is rafa, then al-kalamu has to be rafa. Yeah. If haza is male, then kalam is male. So if it's singular, it's singular. Those all things go hand in hand. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we are putting all these things together, and then we uh, so muptada jumla ismiya muptada khabar ismul ishara marifa marif nale. Okay, let's see tosifi, mosuf, and sifa. In English, we say good boy. So is good the quality of the boy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But in English, the quality comes first, and then the quality of comes afterwards. But in Arabic, they said no. The, if you're talking about somebody and you're talking, you're giving their quality, then that has to come first. So mosuf comes first, and then the sifa or the quality comes afterwards. So how, how many parts Murakab Tosifi has? Two parts. It's now known as mosuf and sifa. Okay. So look at this one. So al waladu asalihu. See. The, the boy is righteous. So what the, the righteous boy, not the boy is righteous. The righteous boy. The, the righteous boy. When you do the translation in English, you have to bring the quality first. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Then again, it is a quality uh, and a quality of. Yes? So then do we have to deal with the four properties? Yes. Marifa yes. nakira, marifa nakira. If, if the mosuf is marifa, the sifa has to be marifa. marifa. If the mosuf is nakira, the sifa has to be nakira. nakira. And the, the, the halat will be also same. If mosuf is rafa, the sifa has to be rafa. Yeah. In other words, in all four properties of noun, they have to follow each other. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that, that's where you do. So, muzakkar, muzakkar, wahid, wahid. And we go like this. And murakkab zafi has two parts. Mudaf, mudaf nilay. Kitabun Zaidun. Okay. But here is supposed to be Kitabu. But I'm going to tell you that because this Mudaf cannot have Al and Mudaf cannot have Tanween. Okay. It's the possessed and the possessor. Who is the possessor of the book? Zaid. Kitab belongs to Zaid. Okay. So what happens on the Mudaf? There is no Al and there is no Tanween. So this Kitab will become Kitabu. Yes. So there is no al on the mudaf and there is no tanween and in the mudaf ilay has to be in the status of jar and the al is allowed. Yes. So it will become kitabu, kitabun zaidin, kitaba zaidin, utubu zaidin. Yeah. Since this subject is coming, uh, I don't want to spend uh, a lot of time here. So let me just quickly, the idea was to give you a overall picture again so that your mind can focus. So what I'm looking for right now is the following. I have this one today for you to start understanding this one. Okay. 
Uh, let's go from here. Okay, so today I want to talk about Murakabe Tosifi. Yeah, from the Tosifi, we have already picked a few things. And let's just quickly go over that. Adjective is a word that describes a noun. In Arabic, it is called Sifa. And in the noun, and the noun qualified is called Mosuf. Unlike English, adjectives comes after the noun. Okay, so let's see. Talibun mujtahidun. What did this mean? Hardworking. Hardworking student. Male or female? Male. 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 Okay. Then talibatun mujtahidatun. Hardworking student. What am female. I referring to? Female. 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> this is taliba is the mosuf. Is it the quality? Hardworking is the quality of the student? Yeah. So the taliba and talibun are the mosuf. Yes? Yeah. And the word is the sifa. What is the quality? Mujtahidatun or mujtahidun. Because over here is male. So the quality is male. When the, when the mosuf is female, the quality is female. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. Then look at this one. Adjective or the murakab tosifi, they need to agree with the noun in four aspects. What did that mean? They are both supposed to be, if they are both marifa, they're going to be both marifa. If they're nakira, they're both going to be nakira. If they're singular, they will be singular. If they're dual, they will be dual. If they are plural, they will be plural. If they're male, they're both going to be male. If they are female, they're both going to be female. And the Arab, they will be both rafa. If they, if one is rafa, the next one is has to be rafa. If one is Nakira, I mean, if one is Nasab, then the other has to be Nasab. If one is in the status of Jar, then the next has to be in the status of Jar. So far, so good. Okay, so what is our role? In all four properties of noun, they will be following each other. Yes? Okay. So for example, Kitabun Jadidun. Is it is it Rafa? Yes. Is Kitab Rafa? Yes. Brother Naseeb, your video is on. Yeah. So Kitab is Rafa, right? Yeah. Is Jadidun Rafa? Yeah. Rafa, okay. yes. Is Kitab Nakira or Marifa? Nakira. 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 And uh, Jadidun Nakira or... Uh, or uh, Nakira, Nakira. It will Nakira. So, new book. A new book. The, the translation will be A new book. Yes. Yeah. So this is the example of Rafa Rafa Nakira Nakira. Yes. Yeah. If we take it to the next level, Al Kitabul Jadidu. Yes. Yeah. Now is Al Kitab is here Marifa or Nakira? Marifa. 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 Is the the quality uh, Marifa or Nakira? Marifa. Marifa. So right next to each other, when yeah. the, when they were Nakira, they were both Nakira. When one was Marifa, the other has to be Marifa. Right. Are they still Rafa Rafa? Yeah. yeah. The translation will be the new book. The new book. You can see that there is a difference now. A new book, the new book. Because the right side is the Nakira and the, the left side is Marifa. Marifa. Any book, okay. particular book. Yes. Now look at the other. Is Waladun Salihun. A pious child. Al Waladani Salihani. How many are we talking about now? Two. Two. Five two. children. Okay. What about Auladun Salihuna? Plural. Too many. You see? So the, the other has to match with each other. When you when you talk about one boy, the quality is one. When you talk about two boys, the quality also becomes two. When you talk about more than two boys, then the quality becomes more than to Salihuna, yeah. right? Is Auladun Rafa? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So is Salihuna Rafa? Rafa. Yes. Yes. Good. Brother Abhi. Al yes, Brother Spice. The first slide that you showed us, can you just, the, on not before the, this one? I just had a question on that. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. You said that they all, they all have to follow the same 
Okay. Uh, like if one is Marifa, the other one has to be Marifa. That's what you're trying to show us here, right? I am saying yes. That's I'm saying that the the two parts, the Mosu and Sifa, mm -hmm. they will follow each other in all four categories or the all four properties of the noun. If okay. one is Marifa, the other has to be Marifa. Marifa, yes. Okay. If okay. one is Rafa, the yeah. other one has to be Rafa. If is yes. one is male, the the other one has to be male. If one is singular. The other one has to be single. So all those four categories have to be same. That's what yes, I'm and that's what I'm showing in this. When it comes to the type, we know the type is of two kind, Marif or Nakira. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. So I, on the right side, I gave you the common version, Kitabun yeah. Jadidu. And on the left side, I said the Al Kitabu Jadidi. Jadidu. So that is the proper one. Then I said about the other. So I give you the singular example. I give yeah. you the yeah. dual example. And then I gave you the plural example. Right. Yes. 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 Now okay. let's Thank talk you. about the jins. So when is Haza Kitabun Jamilun? That is, this is a beautiful book. Yes. Hazihi Sayaratun Jamilatun. So over here, Haza Kitabun Jamilun is a complete sentence. This is a beautiful book. So Kitabun Jamilun is what is the translation of that? Beautiful, beautiful book. Beautiful book. Now, is Haza Muktada? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, in this case, I cannot say Haza Kitabun. I mean, it, it is a it still makes sense that this is a book. Yes. Haza Kitabun is this is a book. Yes. Yeah. But I'm giving you additional information. I'm giving you the quality of the book. So You're I'm going to say the adjective onto it. Yes. Yeah, so now this Kitabun Jamilun. Jamilun become murakkabe tosifi. It's no longer a singular word. It is coming as a murakkab. So now you should be say, Haza is muktada and kitabun jamilun is the khabar. Is that making sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> when, what is the female of Haza? Hazihi. 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 Right. Yara so tun then Sayyaratun is a feminine. Yeah. Yes. And the Jamilun become Jamilatun. Yes? yes. Because the Murakabe Tosifi has to follow All when it good. comes to the gender. Yeah. So these are the examples of, and they are both nominal sentences. Yes? So yes. Hazihi is Muktada, and you cannot say Sayaratun is Khabar. Then what happens to Jamilatun? You will say Sayaratun Jamilatun is the Murakabe Tosifi, and they together is Khabar. Hmm. Make, making yeah. sense? Hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Al Arab. So in the Rafa, it will be Waladun Salihun. Agree? Yes. Yeah. Walidani, Waladani Salihani. That is the, the second version, right? And then Auladun Salihuna. Yes, that's the Rafa version, right? Are they all Rafa, by the way? Yeah. Yes. All right. Now look in the Nasa version. Waladan Salihan. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Waladaini Salihaini. Yeah. Dual. Dual. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Auladan Salihina. Yes. Now, I mean, I, I don't want to get into the <laughs> to the the number game now because this should come to you. By default now, because we have done this many, many times. Okay. Yeah. So, Waladan Salihani, sing, Salihan is singular. So, the last letter, you have to look at the Fatatan. But in the dual is the sound, Walidaini Salihaini, the ending sound. In the plural, you will be ending sound, Auladan Salihaini. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Waladin Salihin. Agree? Yeah. Waladaini Salihaini. Yes. Okay. Auladin Salihina. And for that, you may have to go back and do some review. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. This is the female. Bintun Salihatun. Bintani Salihatani. Banatun Salihatun. Yes. Yes. Okay. Accusive Mansub. Bintan Salihatan. Yes. Bintaini 
salihataini banatin saliha in okay the this is the nasab one and that the jar one is bintin salihatin bintaini salihataini banatin salihatin okay if you don't remember this and if you don't understand this then i can only tell you that please go back and watch those videos yeah. this basically this chart is a review of male female you know and the arab and and again also the other singular dual and plural yeah so this this should be a this one slide is like a big review for all of you yeah okay okay murakkab e tawsifi uh for the broken plurals of inanimate objects will be a feminine singular this is an old rule what this mean is kitabun jadidun a new book kutubun jadidatun you see kutubun is a broken plural yeah yeah is it for a for a living thing or a non living thing on inanimate uh, yeah so in that case the the to the the quality will be feminine singular is kitab male or female male kitab is male yes male. kitab is male. male then then why the quality we said they have to follow each other in all four properties yes yeah we said kitabun jadidun yes male. we did not say kitabu jadidatun did we say that earlier no 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 so but they're saying there is a exception to the rule when it is a broken plural and it is of a non living kind then the quality will be always feminine yeah. singular so kutubun jadidatun okay similarly baitun jamilun beautiful house a beautiful house buyutun jamilatun so you're not going to say buyutun jamilataini yes or jamilatani or jamilatin because you will be required for a non living thing a broken plural you would be required a feminine singular making sense yeah so this was the the uh, on the murakkab e tawsifi and we still have a lot of material to cover on murakkab e tawsifi for that i am going to give you a homework over here i am going to show you uh this these slides and uh, so this one another word for murakkab e tawsifi is naat manut naat manut naat manut okay so in arabic grammar you will come across naatun wa manutun which is the same as mausufun and sifa okay so a noun that describes or qualifies another noun is called naatun now what did we say that this is sifa and later on you will see look at this naatun is also called sifa and manutun is also called mausuf now which one is easy for you to remember mausuf or manut mausuf mausuf so but since he's talking about the same thing i'm just going to use the word sifa in mausuf yeah so baitun jadidun is bait is the mausuf yeah and jadidun is the quality sifa quality okay. not all yeah okay. over here both of them are rafa yeah and both of them are nakira yeah both of them are singular singular both of them are male Me, got it. Yeah. So this is, and let's see. Now, these are some of the sentences. Hazi he bin tun sagira tun. So if this is a small girl. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Now we talked about our muptada and khabar. I said anything before is is a muptada. Agree? Yeah. and anything after that is a khabar agree 
Yeah. So is Hazihi Muptada? Yeah. Okay. Is Bintun Sagiratun? Is it my Murakabe Tosifi? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So a small girl. So Khabar is Bintun Sagiratun. Now is Bintun feminine? Yeah. yeah. Sagiratun feminine? Yes. Yeah. Bintun singular? Yes. Yeah. Sagiratun singular? Yes. Yeah. Bintun yeah. Rafa? Yes. Yeah. And Sagiratun Rafa? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bintun Nakira? Yeah. And Sagiratun Nakira? Yeah. Is Khabar supposed to be Nakira or Marifa? Nakira. 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 Muptada supposed to be Rafa or Nakira? Marifa or Nakira? Rafa. 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 Marifa. 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 So you can see in this situation, the Khabar is Murakab e Tosifi. Agree? Yeah. Remember the, the chart I said that Murakab e Tosifi in a nominal sentence can come in the place of Muptada and it can also come in the place of Khabar. Now, if we have to make it in the Muptada, Will it be bintun sagiratun or it will be al bintu as sagiratu? Al bintu sagiratu. Because in order for it to be muptada, it has to be in the status, it's in the marifa category, right? And you would have to make bintun sagiratun into al bintu as sagiratu. Yes? Yeah. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Haza waladun sagirun. Now look what happened. When you change the, the gender, the only thing changed that Hazihi was feminine, Haza is masculine. And Waladun mas masculine. So look at the quality, Sagirun. Over here for female, it was Sagiratun. Making sense? Yeah. Brother, brother Rafais, can you see that? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Now look at this. Bilalun Mudarrasun Jadidun. Mudarrasun Jadidun is new teacher. New teacher. It, okay, is it Marifa or Nakira? Marifa. Yeah. No, Mudarras, Mudarrasun. There is no Al here. Yeah, yeah. Is nakira. This is the Nakira. So oh, nakira. this is, yes, this is Murakkab e Tosifi. This is my Muptada. Agree? Yeah. Yes. Is this a, is a nominal sentence? And now yes. look at this. Over here, Murakkab e Tosifi was Khabar. So it was Nakira. Yeah. Look at the, the next sentence. Al Mudarrisu Al Jadidu Fil Fasli. Okay. Everything you have learned is coming in front of you. Now, Al Mudarrisul Jadidu, is it Marifa? Marifa. Marifa. The no, new teacher. No, no, now it's Nakira because everything is, has Al behind it. No, no, brother Faz, you got confused. Marifa is where you have the Al and Nakira is where there is no Al. Oh, the yeah. other way around, sorry. The other way around, right? So look yeah. at the look at the translation also. Over here, it says Bilal is a new teacher. Over here, the new teacher. You see? So when it becomes Muptada, so now this is Muptada and this is my Khabar. What kind of Khabar is this? Fil Fasli. Is Fi Harfejar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So jari. Fi, jari. In a nominal sentence, can a murakkabi jari be muktada? No. Never. Never. Can it be khabar? Yes. 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 So this is mutalik khabar. Yes, because yeah. it's not the actual khabar, it's the mutalik part. Can everybody see this now, guys? Please I help me because I'll feel no, good. No, if no, <laughs> I'll feel good if you tell me that yes, yes, it's sinking yes, in. Yes, I can see it. Good. Yes. So in the first sentence, we are talking about the gender. So we demonstrated how the gender plays a role in Murakkab e Tosifi. In the second example, we are telling you whether it's Marifa or Nakira. When it changes from Marifa to Nakira, it changes the position in the nominal sentence. It becomes from when is Marifa, it is Muptada. When is Nakira, it becomes the Khabar. Making sense? Yes. Yes. Because the first example was the Nakira example. It came in the place of Khabar and it came as a Murakkab, not singular, uh, not a single word, but as a combination of the uh, Mosuf and Sifa. Okay. If you can grasp this, guys, I, I'm telling you, you'll be so much ahead of the game and you will feel so good. I, I can't explain to you that I am so excited for you 
if you guys can understand this part inshallah okay inshallah okay so how do i get back to my uh, it's not letting me i have to close this i guess okay so over here now the case the case mean uh, has a baitun jadidun this is a new house the case mean what is the arab is it rafa yes. jadidun rafa rafa okay, good over here ana is ana a detached pronoun yes detached pronoun is always marifa yeah. yeah and is always rafa yeah. yes yes so is my muqtada yeah. fi baitin jadidin over here fi is the harf jar yeah okay harf jar ke baad we need majroor yes we we are yeah. expecting a majroor but instead of having a singular word we have baitin jadidin now is the fi going to force the noun coming after in the status of jar yeah, yeah. it's going to be baitin jadidin a new house but in what case majroor majroor yeah. you see what happened baitun jadidun and baitin jadidin because of the word fi harf jara now here this this is murakkab tawsifi and it will become the ism majroor for the jar majroor so this is murakkab jari yeah. and within the murakkab jari there is a murakkab tawsifi tawsifi yes but overall it is a sentence ana is muqtada and this is mutalliq khabar Are you guys able to see this? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, okay, good. So, and uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Clear all drawings. Close this. Okay. So, I'm gonna run out of time. So, I will leave this for next time. But I wanna quickly go to our uh, Quran, and. and focus on some of the stuff here so what we what we are looking at is some ayas from surah al araf al araf the heights okay sorry brother abid i have to leave a little early i have a work event i have to go to yeah no worries you can you can leave when you have to leave yeah okay assalam alaikum jazakallah khair wa alaikum assalam take care jazakallah khair attending okay so over here i earlier i told you that uh, this is the ayas where allah subhanahu wa taala ordered all the angels to prostrate to adam alayhi salam and the everybody did except who who didn't do it iblis iblis yes so allah subhanahu wa taala now having a dialogue with him and you can see, you can read it from the 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 ayas so allah subhanahu wa taala says auz billahi minash shaitani rajim bismillah rahmani rahim qala ma manaaka alla tasjuda iz amartuk so what prevented you that you not prostrate when i commanded you what was his answer qala ana khairum minhu khalaqtani min nariyum wa khalaqtahu min teen he said i am better than him because you created me from fire and you created him from the clay agree yeah. now while i'm trying to give you the meaning of the verses or trying to get the lessons out of it you can recognize everything we have learned in these ayas yes yeah. okay so then allah subhanahu wa taala after hearing that he told him qala fahbit minha allah said then go down from it so he ex- expelled him from minha mean from the jannah because where was he in jannah ताला expelled him from the jannah by disgracing him and he said because of your arrogance i kick you out and you no longer belong here so far with me guys yeah okay so when you read it on your own time minha huruf e jar uh, the attached pronoun laka 
proof a jar and the attached pronoun. Fiha proof a jar attached pronoun. Inna ka inna and then proof a this damir attached pronoun. Okay. Mina sagirin murakkabe jari proof a jar and then the ismal majroor. Agree? Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa taala said. Descend from paradise, for it is not for you to be arrogant therein. So get out. Indeed, you are one of the debased. Then he said, Allah, who said it? Shaitan. Anvirni. Give me respite. This ni attached pronoun. Yes. Ila. Is it harfajar? Yes. Is it harfajar? Yo me. What kind of yom? Yub asun. The day you are going to resurrect them. So he asked for some time. Time till what time? Till the day of death. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him qala innaka minal munzareen. Go ahead. I'll give you the time. Allah said indeed you are of those reprieved or reprieved. So over here innaka again. This is an attached pronoun. Minal munzareen. Over here, Yoma Ila Yomi Yubasun and Mina Sagirin. These are all Murakabe Jari. Are you guys able to see that? Yeah. Yes. So then then what he said to Allah after he got the, the lease on life, or he got the permission that he, he got the time till the day of judgment. Look what he said to Allah. Allah Fabi Ma Agwaitani. Because you have sent me astray. What is he doing? He's blaming Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's saying that this, this, whatever happens to me, you are the one who caused it to me. Now, what was the, the difference when Adam realized he made a mistake? Did he blame Allah for his mistake or he asked for forgiveness right away? Asked for forgiveness. Yes. But the shaitan went the other way. Not only he made a mistake, but he also went, you know, rebellion. So, awaitani is this ni over here is attached pronoun? Yeah. Yeah. So he said, because you are the one who sent me astray, I am going to sit. La akudanna. Surely I will sit. La hum is this letter lam harfajar? And is there an attached pronoun? Attached pronoun. For them. So now he's saying this la hum. For them, la ak udanna lahum. Surely I will sit for them. Sirataka, saratakal mustaqim. Sirataka, your path. Your path, yes. Sirat ka, your path. Which path we ask for Allah subhanahu wa taala every day? Siratul mustaqim. Is siratul mustaqim the translation is a straight path? Yeah. Is a straight path. Is uh, is uh, the Mosuf and Sifa yeah, that yeah. we want a path, and the quality of that path is is a straight. Mustaqim. Yes. So over here, Sirat Mustaqim will be Murakabe Tosifi. Agree? Yeah. Okay. But here is Sirataka, your path. Is Sirataka path of yours? Can it say be is Murakabe Zafi? Yeah. Is Sirataka Murakabe Zafi, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Al Mustaqim is the Sifa. Yeah. So this is a Murakabe Tosifi, but the Mosuf is not a single word. It's a Murakabe Izafi. Who's the Mosuf here? Sirataka. Right? Your path. And what kind of path is that? The straight path. So instead of having a singular word, Sirat Mustaqim, it is Sirataka. Sirataka Al Mustaqim. Making sense? Yeah. Okay, then, and then what he says, Summa la ati nahum. Then surely I will come to them. Is this whom attached pronoun? Yeah. Mim baini is mim harfajar. Yeah. Baini yes. before I thee him before I thee him again attached pronoun. Yeah. He's saying that then surely I will come from front of them. Wa min khalfi him and in yeah. behind them. Wa an imani him and from the right. Wa an shama ili him. Shama ili him. 
yes and i'll come from their left so now he is challenging allah subhanahu wa taala and the reason i am reading it with you guys so that we are we remind ourselves that the shaitan had made this oath this challenge to allah subhanahu wa taala that he will attack us from front of us from behind us from the right and the left and in all of these words min harf e jar khalfihim mudaf mudafin ilay baina mudaf mudafin ilay mudaf mudafin ilay you know harf e jar wa an harf e jar imanihim mudaf mudafin ilay an harf e jar jama ilihim mudaf mudafin ilay all the concepts we have learned they are coming in front of us wala tajidu aksarahum shakirin aksarahum mudaf mudafun ilay most of them do you see the word off in there yeah wow <laughs> he said now i am going to give you this commitment that i will attack them from everywhere and you will not find most of them shakirin isn't that a fact right now after 6 or 7 billion people only a handful or a one third of them are on guidance and even the muslims <laughs> that suppose they were they are the mu'minin is all the muslims are on guidance no aren't there people within muslims who are uh, stray and misguided of course yeah. so overall according to this aya most of them are not the grateful ones right okay so what then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer him qala 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 khuruj minha mazumam madhura allah said get out of it disgraced and expelled liman tabiaka now this tabiaka is there an attached pronoun there ah, yes yeah okay so then allah said whoever indeed certainly whoever follows you tabiaka minhum from them is minhum the word min is jar majrur yeah. is the harf yeah. jar and whom is the attached pronoun yeah. yes la amla anna jahannama minkum ajmain i will and anyone who will follow among them the the, the people i created uh, the humans i will fill you and them uh, fill the hell with you and them ajmain all of you so what was the answer of allah subhanahu wa taala he will follow him in going jahannam right now over here there is the story of hazrat adam coming that how he got them out of their uh, the, the janna but over here i the, the part i wanted to show you after he made that commitment allah subhanahu wa taala told told him that he will fill the jahannam with them but there was one condition the condition was that when the the guidance comes from allah subhanahu wa taala whoever is guided allah subhanahu wa taala will save them yes Yeah. Okay, so since I am out of time, I really don't want to keep you more than I promised. But overall, I hope and I I feel that you guys can see the benefit of what we have learned. And if you take these ayahs from Surah Al Araf and read it, maybe it will take not more than ten minutes. Inshallah, you will start to see a lot of things coming to you directly instead of you looking at the translation. Yeah. Inshallah. So look, is so many full of things. Libasu huma, liyuri ya huma, sawati hima. These are all attached pronouns. Yes. Yeah. You see. Both of them. Abawaykum, abawaykum, min al jannati, an huma. You know, these are all the words we have. already learn and and then then you should feel the happiness inshallah okay anyways uh, jazakallahu khairan for your time and your patience may allah reward all of you anything mm-hmm. correct i said is from allah subhanahu wa taala anything wrong i said is purely my fault and i seek forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa taala subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashhadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thank you very much assalamu alaykum assalamu alaykum jazakumullah ya allah ki